Hey, howdy, hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back. Right now we're going to do a first look at the new Lego Snow White in the Seven Dwarfs Cottage. Um, Lego had just put this out earlier today. We kind of had rumblings about it like for since January 1st, basically, or even before that, actually. And uh, yeah, finally... They announced that it is going to be coming out on March 1st. And let's have a look at this. Thing. So right off the bat. Right off the bat. It looks amazing. It it looks beautiful from the front. Um, see if we can do it. There we go. I like that better. Okay. <clears throat> so from the front, it looks amazing. It looks gorgeous. It looks like Snow White's cottage. And we get the seven dwarfs. We get Snow White. Um Prince Charming, and the Evil Hag. Now, if you have the Sleeping Beauty Castle, you're already going to have these figures. If you already got the villain set, you're going to already have the Evil Hag. But you're going to get the Seven Dwarfs. All Seven Dwarfs, which is really cool. Let's bring this up. Here's a photo of the Front side of the cottage looks great. Looks like it is it's right from uh, Disney World, you know, right from the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I love the little details on here. Hopefully they're printed, but odds are good they're not. Odds are good these are all going to be stickers. Uh, I love the heart shape, the heart uh, window panes there. Uh, each one of these. Uh, for the uh, the wood pieces here, I'm assuming those are all going to be stickers. Which is, at the end of the day, it is what it is. <clears throat> so you have Doc, Grumpy, Bashful, Sneezy, Sleepy, Dopey. I, I, I'm very excited about this because I do want to incorporate it into the Disney world with putting a roller coaster around it. Um, I mean, not around the, the house, but making, making it a seven dwarfs mind frame, you know, um, there, you can see the box art looks, looks really cool. I love the fact that they added in for a smaller build. The uh, little um, Snow White uh, sleeping chamber, <laughs> should we call it a sleeping chamber? Uh, so now we're going to talk about the bad about this build. The bad part is, is that it is not a complete build. It is an open back, but apparently it hinges and. I'm not 100% sure how I am how I feel about that. So what we have is like this. So this part here is supposed to close in on the front part. And I'm not a fan of that at all. Like the Hocus Pocus set, we should have had a full house. But it probably would have increased the set by another like $50. Uh, here you can see another picture of the back of the house uh, with the dining table. Uh, we do have a couple of beds up at the top up here. And then a little storage for the jewels that the seven dwarfs find. And also, look, they have like a little kitchen. Uh, there um, you can see 
yes, the fireplace glows. Uh, the fireplace has a little white brick that you can uh, make the fireplace glow. Like just something very similar to the haunted man, the Hocus Pocus house, uh, where they had the uh, the light brick for the uh, the the cauldron. Uh, the wishing well. It's a no brainer. You have to have the wishing well with uh, <laughs> with Snow White. Um, I'm not going to do my impression of Snow White because I'm still getting over my cold and you wouldn't enjoy that as much. Uh, here is all seven dwarfs. We have a squirrel. We have Prince Charming. Uh, it, it's actually really cool. It's a really nice design. I like the gold print pieces there, all the uh, clear pieces. It is, it's a, it's a good representation of the story. I love the fact that they are using original characters in this because we all know that there's the Snow White movie that is supposedly coming out and it has so much drama about in with it that I didn't want this set to be representative of that. And I just, I'm glad that they focused it on the, the classic movie. Here's the back of the box art. Uh, again, you can see it has an open back. I'm really debating if I should probably get two copies of these things so that we could try to make a back for it. Um, at least somewhere down the road. It deserves a back. It deserves to have a full, complete house. While, while the outside, while, well, the part that does have the roof on it looks amazing. And in a lot of people's houses, that's probably all that's going to get shown. And in a lot of other places, you know, your kids are probably going to play with it, which is cool because, and you, that's why they have the open back. But much like the Winnie the Pooh house, um, it's got the the dollhouse effect where you can open it up and you can actually play with it. I believe that that's what should have happened with this. Should have been some kind of a dollhouse effect and also have a full complete house. Here we have the uh, model playing with you can see how she's hinging how she's kind of got the 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 two sets like at an angle or two parts of the parts of the build at an angle uh, that okay cool but it's that's not how the house is supposed to look that's how the house is supposed to look and that looks amazing and you know what i am ecstatic to get it I can't wait to talk to Game of Bricks. Maybe they can send me out a lighting kit for this thing. Um, and we're going to get, we're definitely going to have the uh, roller coaster making a stop by on this thing. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to get this thing day one. Now let's talk about, oh, there's the seven beds. Oh, see, it needs a little bit more room in there. There's no, there's no way. No, there's no, there's, it needs some more room in there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, the evil hag giving uh, Snow White the uh, apple. And that's all the pictures. So let's take a look at the price. Price on this thing is $220. It comes out, says it comes out March 4th, but early access or early insider you can get this thing on the first so if you are a lego insider formerly a lego vip you can get this thing on the first go to the store get it online this thing does have 2228 pieces it is set number 43242 again i'm really happy about this set i think that it's going to be one of those that uh, really is is a it's a top tier. I think it's an A tier, not an S tier. If it was an S tier, like the, the the super tier, 
it would have a full back, a full complete house. But we'll just have to mock one up. We'll have to see what we can do. So there's my little review of the seven dwarfs mind train or seven of the seven Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Cottage, which is coming out March 1st, March 4th. If you're not an insider, let me know what you guys think. You are you guys gonna get this set? Are you gonna get it day one? Are you gonna probably wait a little bit to get it? I'm probably going to get a day one because I do want to do a stop motion on this one. I am excited about doing a stop motion on this one. But let me know in the comments if you're interested in more content like this. Hit that like and subscribe button and we will check you guys out all in the next one. You guys have a great day. Thank you for stopping by.